Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to the special learning video broadcast solution. Today I am going to discuss about a new topic in CS4 that is a lightning component. So first of all let's understand what is a lightning component. What's the use of lightning component or why should we use the lightning component framework? And uh, what are the various features of lightning, lightning component and at the end we'll see I will, or I will demonstrate you how to build up a very basic lightning component application in a sales force. So what is a lightning component? As you can see here, I have mentioned that it's a user interface framework for developing dynamic web apps for mobile and desktop devices. So basically it's a user interface framework which can be used for developing dynamic web applications and those applications can be accessed on mobile devices or on desktop devices as well. Lightning component framework is a component based framework. So we are going to build components. Basically components are reusable and uh, we are going to build comp reusable components or lightning components framework and those components we can use in diff various applications. Like lightning components are client side centric making them more dynamic and mobile friendly. It means that uh, it's a client side centric and uh, based on the mobile based on the client's mobile screen the lightning component automatically change their locations or change their width and height. So they are it becomes more dynamic. Now why should we use lightning component framework. So as you can see here the first is out of box component set. So basically it comes with an out of box set of components to easily start building your applications and the user they don't have to spend more time or in optimizing the applications for different devices such as such as uh, if you are developing an application for an Android phone or if your application an application for iOS application or iOS phone. So you don't have to worry about that the component will take care of that automatically means the, the same application can be worked on various different devices easily. Second is performance performance is because uh, it uses a stateful clients and stateless server architecture. So because of that the user interface components it works quickly and it faster. So the client call the server only when absolutely necessary and rest of the components they work directly on the client mobile phone. So that's why the performance is pretty fast. Even driven architecture it uses that it uses an even driven architecture for better decoupling between components and any components can subscribe to an application even or to a component even they can see faster development it empowers team to work faster without out of box component that functional functionality seamless with desktop and mobile devices and uh, obviously building an app with component facilities parallel designing improving overall development efficiency. Next we have device aware and cross browser compatibility the single application can be accessed on various devices or it can be accessed on various different browsers as well. So that's why we, we should use the lightning component framework. Next we are talking about components. So basically what is a component. So as I told you that components are reusable unit of an application. So the, the component can be built one and it can be used multiple times. They represents a reusable section of user interface and can range in granularity from a single line of text to an entire application and and component can contains other components as well means within a component we can we can have another component and that comp like the HTML or CSS or JavaScript or any other web enabled code. So this enables the developer to build applications with sophisticated user interfaces. So that's about lightning component. Let's see a very quick demo of a lightning component in Salesforce how to develop a lightning component. So before developing an application on a lightning component first of all we need to enable the lightning component option because by default it is not enabled so we need to activate it first. So to activate it we need to click on setup. After that click on create and then we have a packages. So click on packages and by default it is not enabled so we need to click on edit. So the first thing which we need to do is click on continue and 
we need to give a namespace. Namespace will be our basically it will be our lightning component namespace. So I'll give a name. I provide a name BISP lightning lightning and click on check availability to check whether this namespace is available or not or it should it have been ta already taken by somebody else. So the namespace is available. So once it is done, I click on review my selections and save it. So once it is done, you can see the developer setting package type allowed manage and unmanage namespaces BSP lightning manage package is none. You haven't you have not selected a package to be managed. So we are not defining any packages to be selection uh, to be managing. Later on, we can add packages here. So the next step is to enable lightning component. So to enable lightning component, we need to click on setup. Then in develop, you can see a new option here, lightning component. So click on lightning component. And if it is not enabled or if it is already enabled in your case, it, like as you can see, in my case, it is not enabled, enable lightning component. So I make it enabled and OK and save it. So once I enable this, you can see there are two. Uh, these are two applications. These have already built build it. So in your case, you will not get anything here. You will find a blank lightning component. So this is already built. So now we are going to build a new lightning component. So let's see how to create a new lightning component because we have already enabled lightning component in our application. And once it is enabled, now we can easily build a lightning component application in our Salesforce. So the steps are click on your name here and we have a developer console. So I click on developer console and in developer console, you will find out that when I clicked on file new and you can see we have a lightning application, lightning component, lightning interfaces and lightning event. So first of all, we will be going to build a lightning component. But before building a lightning component, First of all, we need to build a build a lightning app. So I look for lightning app here, and uh, let me search it. File new, and I look for lightning application, and I give a name here. Hello world, and click on submit. So it will build a new lightning component. So you can see a lightning application has been developed with a tag or application and opening and closing tag with or application. So now we can edit this app. So to edit this app in this in between this or application I write here. Welcome to my first lightning application and I will save it. So once I write down the code and uh, I'll save it and once I saved it on the right side you can see there is a section it says hello world application controller helper style documentation. So these are the various options where which we can configure in our lightning component application. So right now I'm working only on application. And there is an option here update preview. So I click on this update preview and when I click on update preview, preview you will see the application has been opened in a browser and I'll got the message which I have entered in the application. Welcome to my first lightning application. So that's the preview or that's the output of our, of our application. So that is the lightning application. Now I'm going to build a new lightning component and that component will be going to use in this our application. So to build a lightning component click on file new and then lightning component and here we can give a name to our lightning component so I give a name hello to my lightning component and submit so you can see here the extension of application is dot app and the extension of component will be dot cmp and the tag tag is also different this is aura dot application. This is aura dot component and now here we can design our component and this component will be going to use or reuse in our application. So I simply write here h1. Welcome to BISP. Lightning. 
component lightning components that's all and i will save it now let's see how to include this component in our application so to include or to import this component in our application we need to add a tag here i'm not removing this to explain you the difference between the the tag or the code which you have entered within the application directly or the code which we are the we are writing the code in the component so to include this component here you need to write here first of all the namespace namespace of your lightning component so the namespace of our life our lightning component is bisp lightning so we can i copy this code and i write here bisp lightning bisp lightning lightning and the name of the component name of the component is halus so you can see the tag has closed automatically open and closed i again saved it and click on preview update preview so i click on update preview and when i clicked on update preview you can see here i have got two lines first is welcome to my first lightning application and second is welcome to bsp lightning component so this text is coming from the component and this is the text which we have by default included in our application so you can see here that's the text if i remove this text now i have only got the component and now if i click on save and update preview so you can see the only the component text is display will be visible here so that's how that's how we can create a lightning component in salesforce That's all in this video. If you have any questions, if you have any queries, you can visit our website www.bispsolutions.com or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interactive videos on Salesforce. I will be going to create more videos in continuation of Lightning component. So in our in my next consecutive video, I will be going to see, uh, I will be going to tell you that how how we can save the data or how we can read the data by using a Lightning component so that it can be accessed on our mobile screen. I will be uh, will be going to see some customization part as well. That's all in this video. Have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.